What's up guys? Sorry for no normal gameplay commentaries recently. I was gonna upload one yesterday, but I had my eyes glued to E3. This in these past two days I have had I've just been sitting in my computer watching E3. Hands down. Hands down the best E3 ever when it comes to video games. The Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 reveals didn't don't have shit on this one. This one had so many good games. And that's the thing with the Xbox 360 and the PS3, it took them about a year or so to get a good lineup of games. This time around, holy shit, there are so many games that I'm going to buy. Uh, dude, like, everything looks good. People might, people might think that I uploaded every E3 trailer. Fuck no, I only uploaded the stuff that I thought was cool. And there was a lot of stuff that was cool. I have all this stuff on my channel, so be sure to check out my video library if you want to check everything out. I'm just going to go through the, the list of games that I saw that I thought were cool. I've got a list right here. Uh, Final Fantasy XV. Combat looks ridiculous. Infamous Second Son looks incredible. Probably the number one PS4 exclusive that I'm looking forward to personally. Um, Beyond Two Souls. Crazy. Uh, Metal, 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 yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five. Ridiculous. That trailer, the Red Band trailer, it's graphic. I honestly, it honestly is a little bit disturbing. But that's good because it kind of shows like how, how far video games have come. Ten years ago, you couldn't get offended by a video game. You couldn't get offended by the graphic nature of a video game. Metal Gear Solid, that Red Band trailer. Ooh, ooh, it's... Uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Holy shit, my dick got hard when I heard about Kingdom Hearts 3. Not only are we getting Kingdom Hearts 3, we're getting Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 redone to HD... And we're getting that 385 divided by 2 game that they made. I know that's probably not how you say the title, but that's what it looks like to me. It came out for, like, the Vita or the other PlayStation... Whatever. It came out for some piece of shit mobile thing that I didn't want. Uh, that I, so I never played it. And those are all being remade to the PlayStation 3. I think that might be an exclusive. I know Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. But I don't know if the remade older Kingdom Hearts are coming out... For both. I think that might be PS3 only. I'm not sure though. So that's very exciting. Uh, what else here? Got so many good games. Uh, Mad Max, that trailer looked decent. I mean, we didn't see any gameplay from it. Uh, Destiny, that looked great. Uh, I'm, not that, I'm not that excited about Destiny, but it did look good. I'm just curious to see how they'll pull it off. The Order 1886, being made by Santa Monica Studios, the same people that made God of War. The God of War franchise are making this sort of like it's, it's like fake history. I really like the fake history games where it's history, but if something else happened instead. And I think this game is taking place if Nikola Tesla's crazy wireless electricity invention happened. I don't know. Uh, looks cool, though. It's being made by the same people who made God of War. It's probably going to be amazing. Uh, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag. We got to see a sick trailer from them. And, um, and some gameplay. Call of Duty Ghosts looks pretty good graphically they, they posted a tech trailer and it looks good i mean you can't hate on it it looks fucking good battlefield 4 looks ridiculous though you bring down a skyscraper you fucking destroy a skyscraper how could you not like that uh, i mean it's just, it's just battlefield being sick uh, people always <laughs> it's so funny everybody's like oh, fuck ea fuck ea and then they release a few trailers like yeah ea they're remaking mirror's edge oh yeah that's another thing uh, Mirror's Edge is apparently getting a reboot. I think they're starting over or something. I don't know. They're making a new Mirror's Edge game. I don't know that much about it. Looks cool, though. Um, Quantum Break. I think this is an Xbox One exclusive. That looks sick. Uh, pretty cool concept. They slow down time, and it's like some weird Inception, weird Inception shit where they slow down time and, like, take people out of explosives, explosions to where they don't die and, I don't know, fucks up everything. Um... Tom Clancy's The Division looks ridiculous, graphically and gameplay-wise. It looks sick. St oh, big one. Big one. Star Wars Battlefront 3. Oh, yeah. It's coming. All they showed was like a 30, I think it's a 30-second teaser trailer, but they're working on it. Holy shit. It looks great. Uh, that Dude, that could be awesome. That really could be awesome. Watch Dogs, obviously, that game's nuts. Halo 1... Uh, I just said Halo 1. The new Halo coming out in the Xbox One. Obviously, um, got a game called uh, Titanfall. I think I said Titanfall. Titanfall, I, I did two takes on this commentary, but Titanfall, 
if you don't know, it's not just an Xbox One exclusive. It's coming to the PC and the 360 as well. I don't think I said that in this commentary take. That looks great. Uh, Sunset Overdrive looks weird, looks different. It looks cool, though. Uh, the Witcher 3, I haven't played the Witcher games, but I'm sure a lot of people are really excited for that. Um, and I think that's it. I went through that really quickly, guys. Uh, Thief. There was one that I missed. Thief. Looks pretty sick. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, guys. I, I know I missed some stuff, but dude, this E3 was the shit. Oh my god, it was so good. There's so many games I want to buy. Oh yeah, I missed one big one. The Crew. The Crew. Oh my god, that trailer looks crazy. The trailer looks crazy. Probably the coolest trailer from E3 was The Crew. Uh, it... That was cool. It was just it's just cool. I and mean, it's a racing game. I don't give a fuck about racing games, but that was a kick-ass trailer. Uh, so anyway, back on to uh, Microsoft versus Sony. Dude, Sony crushed. Sony crushed. The console's only gonna be four hundred dollars? Get the fuck out, dude. I, I had a feeling the PlayStation was gonna be like six hundred. I was like I came in like thinking, uh PS4, probably going to be 600 bucks. Xbox One's probably going to be 500 And the Xbox One was 500 and PlayStation 4, $400. Dude, the ETH, they exploded. Like, people's minds are just melted. I'm sure that they're going to be selling the PlayStation 4 at a pretty big loss, because if you guys don't know this already, the PlayStation 3 that was sold at $600 was sold at a loss, like a big loss. And I can almost guarantee the PS4 will be sold at a big loss, but, that's kind of how it goes. They want you to have the system. They want you to have the system so you buy games and you buy... Uh, the PlayStation 4 will have a monthly fee to play games online like Call of Duty. But some games won't require you to pay that fee to play online. It's kind of weird. Um, so basically, they want you to have the console because they know you'll spend money on it. And they're going to make their money back eventually. A lot of the reason the Xbox One is probably $100 more is because of that bullshit Connect. I swear to God... What is wrong with Microsoft? They're giving me a million reasons not to buy their console. They just they said in a uh, in a video I just uploaded this prior to this one, if you don't have internet connection, they just tell you to get a 360. That's their message. Well, if you uh, don't have a stable internet connection where you're going, just buy a 360 instead. Don't. Okay, I'm not a genius. I I'm no computer genius. But there's got to be some other way that we can authenticate games other than always online. I understand that always online is the best way to do it because there's no real way around, uh, no real, no real way around it, no real way around it. Um, but okay, so this is just my idea. Doesn't every console have a specific number to it? Couldn't you authenticate that game online to that specific console? Like, every console's got an IP, that's how you, that's how they console ban you, if you're being a jackass, you have to eventually buy a new Xbox if you troll people too much. Uh, can't we, can't you just authenticate it once online, like you authenticate Windows? You know how you authenticate Windows on your PC, you do it once online, and then you're done. And then you have it forever, or whatever. Why can't that happen? For the Xbox games, like, what the fuck? So anyway... Uh, Xbox One giving me a million reasons not to buy their consoles. Their exclusives, I don't give a fuck about. Uh, I mean, Halo's cool. I like Halo. I like Call of Duty, getting the maps early. But I don't care about that. Like, I, I play Call of Duty all the time. But I don't care about the maps. I mean, I, I get the map packs, but I can wait a month. I don't give a shit. Um, what else? Rise, Son of Rome is forgettable. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. I think, it's, I think it looks awesome. But I'm not going to buy an Xbox for it. There's only two games I can think of that are Xbox One exclusives that I want to buy. And that's Rise and uh, Halo 5. But those aren't like... And those aren't games that I have to have. And the thing about the PlayStation 4 is that they haven't even unveiled their biggest exclusives. Like, they didn't say anything about Uncharted. They didn't say anything about God of War. They didn't say anything about Ratchet and Clank. They didn't say anything about a lot of these games. And those are the games that I, were, that I was expecting. Instead, they, they released all these brand new IPs and shit that I didn't even... Blew my mind. And I'm, I'm, I was going to buy it anyway for just those games. So, yeah. Microsoft, you're in trouble, man. You, your console is more expensive and is worse in every way from what I've seen of E3. Like, what, what do you got, man? You're going to have to show me something, Microsoft, because... 
I don't see any any positive to your system. I you got a camera that spies on you all the time. You got all this other bullshit that I don't give a fuck about. I don't care about my TV and my uh um I don't even have TV. I don't even have cable. I don't care about fantasy football shit. Oh, what else? Um I'm going th- I'm going through this list here that I, I wrote down a bunch of stuff. I think that might be it. I know this is kind of a rambling video, but I wanted to just talk to you guys about my opinions on E3. Uh, The Nintendo Wii U, I'm probably not going to buy it. Um, I mean, again, the Wii U is kind of like the Xbox One for me. There's only like two games that I remotely give a fuck about. And that's Smash Brothers and maybe the new Zelda game. Not the HD Wind Walker, that's cool, but it's not a console seller for me. Um, So yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I'm sure I missed something, but go check out. Uh, go to my channel right now. Click on the videos tab and just look. There's so much cool stuff. There's so many cool games that you probably don't know about. You and it's probably and it's not because you're uninformed. It's just that there were so many. There's so many good games. And there's I know there's stuff that you haven't seen yet, unless you're a nerd like me and you've literally been, literally been watching this thing the entire time. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Peace.